so many DAX measures to calculate various metrics on revenue it will make sense to also calculate metrics for profit so we can do actual data visualizations but before we do that something else that's going to make sense is for us to have a separate table to house all our DAX measures so currently what we have is whatever table you select before you click new measure is where your measure is going to drop and then it can really be messy when you try to look for a measure and you don't really know what table it falls under so except you come to use the search pane to search for the name of that measure which you may not really remember at an instance okay so what makes sense for us to do now is to go and create an empty table where we put all our DAX measure so to do that I'm gonna have to come to the home tab then I'll click on enter data so enter data is going to go to power query and it will try to create a table based on whatever I try to do but I'm not gonna do anything on this table all I'm going to do is rename this and I'm gonna call it one DAX so one DAX there's a reason why we're using this one maybe you find out now so one DAX click load and as you can see it happens to be the first thing that comes up on our fields pane so and as you can see it happens to be the first thing that comes up on our fields pane and that is the reason for using the figure one so whichever table we are bringing into power bi dax is always going to be the first thing and when you expand it has just one empty column so we need to move all the dax measures that has been written so far into this table unfortunately there is no other way of doing that it has to be done manually and that manual process is select the measure go to modeling tab then you see this section for home table you change it from calendar to one dax so i'm going to do this for each one of my measures so change everything to one dax to one dax so now i have all my dax measures on one dax and i can simply hide this empty column now so i will just click on this ellipsis this small option three dots and select hide and it is gone so all i can now see is all my dax measures so if i need to write dax going forward i will have to come to my fields pane right click on one dax and select new measure so now we have a measure that calculates profits i just want to do a separate measure now that calculates profit last month because what we need to do now is to replicate all the measures we have written for revenue 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 last month revenue monthly variance monthly variance percent ytd so we need to replicate all of these for profit as well so i'll right click on one dax select new measure so this is going to be called profits lm so profits lm that is to calculate profit last month and it's going to be equals to calculate profit calculate profit comma and filter it to the previous month of calendar date close bracket close bracket enter and for every measure i'll create henceforth i'm gonna have to do that by right clicking one dax and selecting new measure